Team JAMS presents Increasing Efficiency at Community Medical Centers. Team JAMS is composed of four full-time working professionals currently attending Fresno State University's Accelerated Bachelors of Business Administration program, including Juan Roblacaba, Akira Hasegawa, Maxine Ayers, and Summer Evans. Community Medical Centers is Central California's largest healthcare provider and the only level one trauma center in a 15,000 square mile service area between Sacramento and Los Angeles. Community Medical Centers mission statements reads, to develop a team of healthcare professionals driven to advance patient care through leadership, innovation, and teamwork by following these core values, integrity, commitment, and fulfillment. While these values make up the goals of the organization, they are not always the goals of the individual, individual employee. This presentation is to suggest implementing efficiency changes at community medical centers by taking steps to develop a culture that accepts and fosters change and that will enhance employee engagement in the process of change. Resistance to change. It is not uncommon for employees to resist change. The main resistance to change lies in fear. If an employee cannot see the entire scope of the purpose behind the change, they may fail to see the need for change. Changes can cause fear at many levels. An employee may fear that change will result in a loss of pay, especially if they hear the organization is trying to cut expenses. They may fear that those cuts will cost them financially. They may also fear the loss of power and position in their departments. And perhaps the greatest fear is that their position may be eliminated and that they will lose their job. Defining the change. To create a sense of camaraderie and to engage as many employees as possible, it is necessary for the employee to see the whole picture. They must be shown the entire scope of the plan so that they can understand how the changes will affect the entire organization, how these changes will help to achieve the overall goals, and what part they will play in the new culture. This will help the employee to see where they fit into the new plans and how important their role is. Most critically is to convey to the employee the sense of urgency, that these changes need to be made quickly and accurately to get the organization moving in a forward direction. As stated by Baton, Castaneda, and Farah, understanding the resistance to change may enable managers to reduce conflict and increase collaboration. To meet those challenges, leaders must be trained and educated to overcome the resistance to change. Modeling the change. One of the best ways to lead is by example, and the best example is to model, model the new behaviors that are expected. The new uh, procedures and processes must be implemented at all levels and all departments. Starting at the top, high-level managers must take the reins in altering their behavior and modeling the new desired behaviors to all employees who work underneath them. They must show that they have accepted the change and demonstrated that these changes are positive. Thus, the new model of behavior and procedure will trickle down through the chain of command until it comes to the lowest level of workers. Every employee must do their part to make the changes as complete and smooth as possible. And by being able to look up to a higher level manager who models these changes, every employee can have a sense of belonging in this new culture. Fostering the change. Next comes the training and education. A change agent will be present to ensure the new procedures are understood, to answer any questions, to clarify points of confusion, and to give immediate feedback during implementation. These changes can be reinforced by becoming a part of departmental meetings. The meetings agendas can contain a block of time to discuss how these ch changes are working, what problems are being encountered, and how best to overcome these obstacles. These meetings can work in a trickle up flow with department managers taking issues that are beyond their scope and addressing them with the next level management. This would give critical feedback for upper management to understand how the changes are affecting day-to-day -day operations and to flag issues that need to be addressed. And finally comes the need for continuing education. Most hospital employees are required to take continuing education classes for their particular field. To incorporate a periodic class reiterating the changes and the expected procedures and behaviors helps employees to keep a clear and focused direction. 
They are also a great opportunity for an employee to ask for clarification on things that they may not fully understand or for management to prevent further training on points that are not quite being met. The next step is to enhance employee engagement and we'll start off with a quote that says, it cannot be understated how important a great team is to a business success. The quality of the work you do will never exceed the quality of the team behind it. Teamwork across departments will provide efficient and high quality care because engaged employees are courteous employees to their patients and strive to achieve organizational goals. Managers and supervisors play a key role in employee engagement as they uptalk to their employees. Uptalk to employees increases employee confidence and constructive criticism is necessary in order for employees to keep the end in mind. The next step is to hold team building exercises. This will include doctors, nurses, phlebotomists, and housekeeping staff for them to build a cohesive team. These will bring out personal attributes as opposed to positions and titles. Employee recognition plays a big role in enhancing employee motivation. Community Regional Centers currently has a Star Grant program which fellow employees recognize a job well done. The drawback to this current procedure is that it is not publicized past a direct supervisor. Our suggestion is to have this publicized in common employee areas. Conclusion: Our suggestions to community regional medical centers in implementing their new procedures is to develop an accepting culture by defining the change, modeling the change, and by educating employees. Also, by enhancing employee engagement in changes by up-talking to employees and holding team meeting exercises. Thank you for your time in listening to our team presentation put together by Juan, Akira, Maxine, and Summer.